What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Trucking Name J. Checking in. Checking in, baby. You know what I'm saying? We out here on this beautiful, magnificent Monday morning. We out here in Mebane, North Carolina, getting unloaded. Uh, had a quick three and a half hours down, three and a half hours back. Um, load, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then we're going to head back to the port pick up whatever we deliver in tomorrow man and we're gonna be done for the day man um i pretty much have gotten to a point where i'm just not really stressing i mean i'm not trying to stress at all in life in general but like as far as this port shit goes man i, I I've, I've i've accepted the fact that the money that i want to make is not going to be made in the port that's not knocking the port that's not you know discouraging anybody from driving for the port one day that's just me giving an honest no bullshit assessment of uh my situation you know um i'm i'm all right now i hate to say it but i'm all all my eggs are in a basket when it comes to this fuel hauling situation okay um the money you know the money's so good i don't even want to put it out you know he asked me not to put it out um so i'm not gonna talk about it. i put it out one time on a post I made on Facebook. Um, I think I put it on Instagram, but I ain't gonna put it out no more because, you know, he said, yeah, cause, cause I, the information is out there. Like if you wanna come haul fuel for him, but I don't know, I put his number out there. So many people, he got so many people to follow back with. So I'm sure them slots are filling up pretty quickly cause it is a good situation, man. Like, you know, I don't think it's like a fuel hauling situation. Like people think like when you think of fuel hauling from what the guys have told me that they do fuel hauling you think of going to gas stations and shit like that nah this ain't like that this is this is going to be more so going from facility to facility both facilities being open 24 7 um and it's going to be going from houston pa to newington virginia if you do the uh, googles on that that's going like four hours you know what i'm saying four four and a half hours um and the one bad side um that I was looking at was that it was going to be okay, it was going to be um I thought I was gonna have to run 68 um which for those who don't know about 68 interstate 68 in Maryland it's just it's just this it's a bunch of mountains but um you know shout out to my boy JMV follow him on YouTube and while you at it make sure you like comment subscribe and hit the bell to this video as well but um he put me on to if I go around 70 to 76 like that, it'll still be some hills and some and some curves, but nowhere near like 68 with a with a tanker. You feel what I'm saying? So, but um, so that's what I'm gonna be based out of, man. Um, that's the type of runs I'm gonna be running. You know, I'm gonna be trying to do seven plus loads a week every week. Um, it's not a long distance. Um, and yeah, as far as it, it, it pertaining to the port, like I'm just chilling right now, man. Like you know. I'm not going to make over twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. I'm just not. Um, right now with the, the lanes that I'm running, I'm staying right in that nine to 1100 range, which is not a lot, but it's okay knowing what I got coming. You know, um, the whole purpose of the fuel contract, the way that's going to work, is like I'm going to run that from September until April, and then May, June, July, August, I'll have off. I can either choose to do nothing or I can come back to run it out the port and just make me run it three, four days a week. Just enough to make a couple thousand, you know, like eight to a, eight to a thousand and um, just chill like that. You know, that's what all the other guys are doing. That's why they, you know, the, uh, the guy Lamont that I talked to, shout out to Lamont. You know, he was telling me like, yo, that's what he do. He don't be stressing. He just, you know, he work when he want to work. And that's what type of time I'm trying to be on, you know. I didn't already talk to the, you know, talk to a couple people. You know, they talking about 10 grand decent credit you get a truck from a dealership it's not that it's not as hard as people make it seem you know they make it seem like you got to go in there with p's and q's when you're going to a dealership so i'm just kind of on chill mode right now man i'm not even you know i'm pretty sure that's you know it may make my content a little more hard to watch because it's just like y'all look real big in this orange yo i know y'all probably killing me in the comments i just had to stop and look at myself for a i'm a big boy man but it's all good though because we working on that too um but what was I saying? Yeah, I'm just chilling, man. I'm just in, enjoying life, enjoying time with the family. It's a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, weddings and 
get togethers and shit like that and I'm just enjoying that, preparing to go for this big push because when I leave for this fuel hauling situation, I'm going to be gone. Like the 757 won't see me until Thanksgiving. My family will see me every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, for those who don't know, the way this contract works is like he wants me to stay out there like for the first three months and just run straight. But the way they'll do it is like for every week that I make over seven loads, they'll bring my family up to me, pay for the hotel and do it like that because Newington, Virginia is like two and a half hour drive from the crib. So wifey would drive up to me, um, you know, make sure I keep my car in good condition, which I normally do anyways. Um, drive up to me, be good, um, in the hotel for two days, chill, relax, um, and then go back to work on Monday or, you know, Sunday or whatever, however we decide to do it. So I'm okay with that. As long as I see the wife and son, that's all I really care about. Everybody else, I'm not saying I don't want to see them, but it's just nowhere near as important as seeing the, the, my, my queen and my prince, you know what I mean? The people I'm out there grinding for. So, um, that's how that's going to go. And really, with the exception of the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, maybe my son's birthday, the beginning of January, and then, of course, some some winter winter days, winter weeks, you know, I'm full steam ahead. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to get this bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this bread, you know. Um, the thing about running up in PA in Northern Virginia, they handle the harsher weather a little better. You know what I'm saying? So when it's snow up there, man, they, they, they on it. You know what I'm saying? Versus when it snow down back home, like Hampton Roads area, man, they, they be, we be shut down for damn near a week. Because they don't know how to handle that type of weather. So, um, But besides that, besides the holidays and the winter, the winter times, I'm full steam ahead, man. I'm trying to make as much money as I can just because I know what I'm trying to do. And if I make the money that they talking about I can make, man, we can, we can definitely buy a truck next year. I'm just going ahead and say it. We can buy a truck next year. For sure. For sure. We'll buy a truck and we can start the process of you know just making my business more credible so that in two years I can buy my house simple shit you know what I'm saying I ain't trying to take over the world just yet I'm just trying to do the simple shit man buy a truck buy a house I ain't in a rush to get no car you know uh, we want to buy we want to buy a couple of uh, 15 passenger vans for her babysitting service because they be taking field trips and shit like that um or we want to buy one 15 passenger van but if we can't find one we're going to try to buy two minivans so it's just a lot of shit that we're trying to do we'll talk about that on Holland Vibes uh, more so make sure you check out Holland Vibes go hit that like button over there and subscribe as well uh, me and my wife you know giving our in-depth situations about uh, uh, explanation about our situations as a married couple and we'll be trying to do so um, yeah man I'm kind of rambling I'm all over the place I don't know how long this video is Hold about 8 minutes that's just giving you guys an update. You know, a lot of my other videos kind of just been a little bit over here, a little bit over there. But, you know, this is the type of content that we pretty much going to be doing going forward, man. Uh, letting you know about the Tinker situation as we get closer and closer to September. Um, and just preparing to uh, to see what that's about. First-hand experience, you know. Um, as more new things happen, I can put out more new content. Um, again, a lot of... It's not really a lot of tanker information out here, so I'm going to look forward to being able to put my spin on it. You know how I do, man. Try to be as real, as honest as I can. And, um, yeah, man, you know, it's just just blessed to be where I'm at, dog. Like, when I look at where I was two, three months ago, thinking that I was done with trucking and, you know, get, coming off the heels of leaving hood, not making no money. And now I'm in a, about to be in a situation where I'm going to be making, you know, the most money I've made in trucking. So, and that's including leasing and training at Swift. So, but you know, as always, man, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive, man. Keep your head up, stay in the fight. You know, your round is coming. You feel what I'm saying? You just took your punishment. Now it's time to dish out something. You did. God, family trucking, man. I'm gone.